Hi everyone, Brian from Sue Generis Brewing here and it is Saturday, September 16th. Uh, so happy Saturday everyone. And I have a few minutes while my mash drains, so I thought I'd do a quick update on the 50 meter brewer project. So probably the biggest thing that has happened since the last update is I finally got around to harvesting my hops. They had a nice maturity, they had lots of lupulin, they smelt wonderful. So I picked them. And this year I actually put a bit of effort into drying them properly. And so normally what I would do is just pile them on a table and blow a fan over top and it'd take three, four days for those to dry. But what I did this time is I took a window screen that my dog was kind enough to remove from our sliding door and I uh, just taped it to the bottom of this large box. And that I could then place over top of a box fan and this dried the hops in less than 24 hours. Now, I can't be certain that that made an improvement, but my hops this year certainly smell more pungent and more sort of fruity than they did last year's. So I think drying them more quickly helped lock in a little bit more flavor and aroma. At least I hope that's the case. They certainly smell wonderful and I can't wait to uh, start brewing with them. So once they were dried, I then backpacked them and froze them so that they'll be stable for a while. Now, I've had a few people in the past ask me how I do this, so I just thought I would show you this quickly. Uh, what I do is I take a standard backpacking bag and I actually seal it down the center to create two different compartments. Into each of those I put in 50 grams of the dried hops, which is roughly two ounces. And so I find this is a convenient amount. For most beers I'll use one or one and a half of these packs, so three, two to three of these, these halves. Um, but if I only need a half, it's very easy to open that and leave the other side sealed. And like this they're stable for a year if not longer. The hops are the only real advancement in the project at this time. The yeast that I cultured last video have grown, they've attenuated the wort well, and I think I have one that is, you know, usable, uh, but I haven't done a full workup on it yet, so I don't actually know if it's the yeast I want or if I need to do another wild capture. But the big limiting factor in the progress of this project is that bare barley. Uh, as a reminder, that's a barley that's 12 or 1300 years old, and so it goes through something called dormancy. And dormancy is just a, a period of time where the grain won't sprout. It's barley's natural way of preventing the grain from sprouting until it's overwintered. So we need to wait for that dormancy period to pass. Last weekend, I did do a quick uh, test to see what fraction of that barley would germinate. And we're not even at 50% yet. So it's probably another month before I can even start malting that grain. Now the Harrington, uh, which was the other barley variety I grew, is a modern malting variety and it shouldn't have any dormancy. And so when I did that germination test, I had about 95% germination on that stuff. So that stuff is good and ready to go. I'm really just waiting on that bear. Uh, but once I get to that point, probably around mid-October, I'll be able to start malting and hopefully soon after that, I'll be able to actually sit down and brew this beer. Anyways, that's a very quick update. Like I said, not much has happened, uh, but I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.